happy readers, I'm here to tell you about two books. The first one is 13 Little Blue Envelopes, and the second one is Girl at Sea. So 13 Little... Hey! What, what are you doing here? Well, I want my chance to say what I want to say about the book, okay? I know I'm crazy and stuff like that, but... I know about more about reading than you do. I've got glasses. That makes me smart. Um, this is my channel. Um, you're supposed to be over in Liz Valish, okay? This is, this is serious. We're talking about serious things like books. Yeah, I get so tired because I don't think I get enough views over there. So, um, yeah, just, just let me do a review, please, please. I will love you forever. I guess I'll let you do the second one, but please let me get through the first one. I guess I'll be okay with reading the second book. Thank you. So, the first book is about a girl named Jenny who gets a package of letters from her aunt, April 213, hence the title. The 13 Blue Envelopes leads her to several different countries, including um, Paris, Italy, London. Um, she meets a whole bunch of different people. And she falls in, I don't know if she falls in love, but she has a crush on a boy who's just like totally like starter being ar artist kind of crazy kind of guy. The boy follows her to several different countries um, after she leaves London and they just kind of have this like cute little relationship kind of thing going on. And at the end of the book it's a little cliffhanger and so um, there is a sequel. But we're talking about this book right now. We're going to talk about other awesome things in this book. First of all, I love the imagery in this book. Like, she takes you wherever she goes. Like, pretty much, like, you, like, when she's telling you about the Louvre, is the Louvre, um, just different places that she goes, you feel like you're there. Background story behind the book. Maureen Johnson stayed in a castle for several months writing this book. Like she left it every once in a while to go into like the town and stuff like that. And it's a really funny story. She did a podcast about it on her website, which I'll put in a link in the description. Um, but the story about it is she's in this castle and um, she wrote this whole entire book pretty much from other books, like doing her research, which is really awesome. You wouldn't think that that's how it was written just because she talks about these things like she's experienced them and it's so crazy that it's just like, you know, it was off from research. And I think that's awesome. And oh, it's so crazy. Like she, she probably has visited all these places, but um, adding the fact that she did research was just really awesome. There is a sequel, like I said, but um, it's probably not going to be out for like another year or so just because she just turned in the first draft like a week ago. Um, but yeah, it's cool because I love her writing and stuff like that. Now we're going to let that other girl talk. <sighs> Hey happy readers, I'm going to tell you about Girl at Sea who's also by Mari Johnson. This is about a girl named Cleo Ford who gets ripped away from a freaking awesome job with a cute boy just to go live on a boat with her dad for the summer because her mom is so like self-centered and decides to go be a painter in the middle of like America somewhere. And um, she totally ha makes Clea go live with her dad on a freaking boat for like the whole summer and it's so ridiculous. Like why would somebody let, let their kid do that? She goes on this boat ride with her dad, his girlfriend Julia, her assistant Aiden, and her daughter whose name is Elsa. And Elsa's kind of like this boarding school kind of brat kind of girl. Um, she They fight over Aiden and it's kind of stupid. So Cleo goes on this boat ride in the Mediterranean with her dad and his girlfriend Julia and her daughter Elsa and her assistant named Aiden who's kind of cute and kind of nerdy um, and also this other guy who's not really important. He really doesn't do much on the boat. There are times when Cleo doesn't know what's going on on the boat because they're being so sketchy. She has to go spying around and it's really just 
I know that's kind of mean to go through people's stuff, but when nobody's answering your questions, sometimes you gotta do a little digging. I can really relate to the book because she and her dad sometimes fight and I know me and my dad have some differences because I watch YouTube all the time and my dad just doesn't understand why I can spend so much time on the internet and not as much time playing Monopoly with the family. I'm sorry, I just, I can't stand Monopoly. I can't play games. It's just not me. But in the end, they go from just all these random people to a family and that's what's important. Yeah, this book is pretty cool and pretty snazzy and so yeah before that other girl gets back okay bye